Here are the Katwa News Briefs for Wednesday, August 29, 2012. The U.S. Mint comes to Volcano today as it releases the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park quarter from 1.30 to 3 p.m. at the park's Kahua Hula with a ceremony and an opportunity for the public to exchange for $10 rolls of the commemorative quarters. The new quarter is a part of the U.S. Mint's America the Beautiful Quarters program. The coin features an engraved image of an eruption on Kilauea's East Rift Zone on its tail side and inscriptions that read Hawaii Volcanoes Hawaii 2012 and E Pluribus Unum. It was designed and sculpted by U.S. Mint sculptor engraver Charles L. Vickers. The Hawaii Volcanoes quarter is the fourth quarter to be launched in 2012 and the 14th in a series of 56 circulating America the Beautiful Quarters. Designs are symbolic of a national park or other national site in each state, the District of Columbia, and five U.S. territories. All coins in the program feature a portrait of George Washington and the inscriptions United States of America, Liberty and God We Trust, and quarter dollar on the heads side of the quarter. This highly collectible quarter is a significant milestone for Hawaii Volcanoes National Park for the residents of Hawaii and for the Hawaii Island destination. Now everyone can carry a reminder of Hawaii's first World Heritage Site in their pocket, said Park Superintendent Cindy Orlando. County of Hawaii Tourism Specialist Stephanie Donoho will serve as Master of Ceremonies and representatives from the U.S. Mint, the Governor's Office, and the State Delegation will participate. The ceremony will take place at the park's Kahua Hula, south of Kilauea Visitor Center on Crater Rim Drive. The event is free, but park entrance fees apply. Finding renewable energies with no investment to power public schools is a goal of the State Department of Education, which is looking for companies to execute a plan to reach renewable energy goals of 90% sustainability by 2040. According to a Duane Shimogawa report in Pacific Business News, the state will issue a request for proposals by the year's end asking that renewable energy developers come up with power purchase agreements that carry no upfront costs to the DOE. If successful, it would lower the state's largest single expense, education, which accounts for roughly one-fourth of the more than $5.5 billion general fund, says the story in PBN. Russell Ruderman, who won the primary election for the state Senate seat that runs from Punalu'u to Puna, said that now would be the time to make sure there are solar voltaics on such rooftops as the new Katwu Shelter and gym that breaks ground this fall in Pahala. Whether it is funded by private enterprise, the county or the state, it makes sense to put it in, put the photovoltaics in the complex that is being constructed, said Ruderman. He said it should be designed to stand alone during emergency situations when Helco could be cut off from the community. He said it is important that the photovoltaics have the ability to operate independently from the grid. One of Ruderman's campaign promises is to take down barriers to solar power, becoming a major contributor to creating electricity in Hawaii. Free farm and mill tours begin seven days a week this weekend at Ka'u Coffee Mill. The tours take visitors through the processing from pulping to drying, husking, and roasting. The Ka'u Coffee Mill Visitor Center on Wood Valley Road also hosts a collection of original art by Kathleen Cam, including murals that depict the wildlife, volcano, seascapes, and agricultural history of Ka'u. The Visitor Center also provides Ka'u Coffee Tasting, a Ka'u Coffee Wall of Fame, featuring Ka'u's famed coffee farmers and a store with coffee macadamia logo wear and gift sales. Hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. daily. The Ka'o Plantation Days event is set for Saturday, October 6th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the grounds of the Manager's House, also known as Pahala Plantation House, on the corner of Mylan Pikaki Streets. Hawaiian, Japanese, Portuguese, Filipino, and Chinese family members will offer displays and storytelling about the multi-ethnic evolution of the local community. Ethnic dance and food, historic photos of ranches, villages, and the sugar era will go on display. Poi pounding and an ukulele jammer on the schedule. A parade with pa'u riders and sugarcane trucks begins at 9 a.m. following a pule. The event was originally set for October 13th, but moved to October 6th. Entrance and activities are free. For more information, call 928-0303. Ka'u Ladies Varsity Volleyball Team beat Waikea Warriors at Ka'u High School Gymnasium 25-23, 25-12, and 25-18. The whole team worked together for a great victory last night. Head coach Joshua Ortega said, This is the first time that Ka'u Ladies have outscored Waikea in the memory of fans who attended the game, said Ortega. 
Department of Water Supply invites the public to meet with representatives tonight at 5.30 p.m. at Ocean View Community Center to discuss Ocean View's well and distribution of water. According to DWS, the meeting is in response to increased reports of incorrect information in the community. A report with answers to frequently asked questions is available online at hawaii.dws.org. Ocean View Development Court meets tomorrow night at 5.30 p.m. at the Community Center. Free mobile health screenings are offered this Saturday in Ka'u by We, a Hui for Health. The mobile health van will be at Ocean View Farmers Market, 8 a.m. to noon, and Ka'u Resource and Distance Learning Center in Pahala, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. That's next to the library in Pahala. Health screenings include retinal lung function, glucose, blood pressure, take-home kidney function, women's health, hepatitis, and hearing. Counseling regarding learning disabilities, smoking cessation, family caregiving, organ donating, and more is also available. Screenings are on a walk-in basis. For more, contact Annie at 808 808- 282-2265 or Annie at projectvisionhawaii.com. An evening of comedy, LOL, Ladies Out Loud, is hosted this Saturday at 7 p.m. at Volcano Arts Center's Neolani Campus in Volcano Village. Scheduled to perform are Key McChell, Kathleen Butler, Shana Jungle Queen, Katie Schurich, and Karen Blue, Angie Libadisos, Jenny Chen, Jennifer Wharton, Tanya Asazian, and Sherry Carden. $10 admission. For more information, call 967-8222 or visit volcanoartcenter.org. These Ka'u News Briefs are brought to you by the Ka'u Calendar newspaper and underwritten by the Emmons Seelson Trust and Pohala Plantation Cottages. See them at ka'unewsbriefs.blogspot.com and youtube.com Ka'u News and support our sponsors at pohalaplantationcottages.com and ka'ukoffeemill.com.